Please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Don't ignore those spotty senses in this week's Harkins Theaters movie preview. And we get suited into our armor and take a step into the dark side with our video game review. I'm Tanner Barringer. And I'm Maylee Gray, and this is NHS TV. <laughs> FCA will be meeting on Monday at 6 p.m. in the film room. All are invited. Be sure to join them for fun fellowship, food, and worship. For FCA reminders, follow them on Twitter at NHSFCA. If you love volleyball and want to be a part of the team, volleyball managing positions are now available. You can pick up an application from Coach Gaston or Coach Spann in the girls' coach's office. The application, as well as two letters of recommendation, are due Tuesday, May 27th. Interviews will be held after applications are submitted. Monday, May 5th is the last day that prom tickets will be $70. You can buy the tickets at lunch on stage Tuesdays and Thursdays. Shoot your webs with the amazing Spider-Man in this week's Harkins Theaters movie preview. Looking for another beautiful day here in the How city. How about that Spider-Man? Last night on the Manhattan Bridge, he saved a dozen lives. We want to hear your calls. Heads up, watch out. Peter Parker continues living the secret life and the struggle of being an ordinary citizen and the amazing Spider-Man. When Peter saves Max, an Oscorp employee, he assumes their friendship and becomes obsessed with Spider-Man. Once again, Peter is face to face with an enemy more powerful than he, as Max, now known as Electro, targets the Manhattan city streets. And as his old friend Harry Osborne unexpectedly returns, Peter begins to realize that all of his enemies trace back to one thing, Oscorp. I gotta go. I'm coming with you. Come on, it's too dangerous. Sorry, I love you. Don't hate me. Peter! This week's trivia question is, in the comics, what is the name of Peter Parker's clone? To be your answers to at NHS TV for a chance to win two free Harkins movie tickets. And don't forget to bring your student ID to Harkins Theaters in Southlake for discount prices at the box. Have a fantastic Friday, Texans, and I'll see you at the movies. I'll be sure to suit up and sharpen my spidey senses this weekend. In video game news, everything gets dark. Grab your swords and shields and let's join Austin in today's video game review. The time to experience death and difficulty has now arrived once again. Dark Souls 2, the sequel to Dark Souls, is far more than I could have ever imagined for the next game in the Souls series. Dark Souls 2 is one of the most gripping and atmospheric games I have ever played. The main reason for this is because Dark Souls 2 is more accessible. Not easier, but more accessible, story and gameplay wise. The beginning of the game actually takes the time to explain the plot to the player, and this sets up the story in a way that people can either choose to delve deeper into that story, or just have fun with the gameplay. In terms of gameplay, Dark Souls 2 follows along the path of its predecessors, and this is something to be excited about. While the gameplay has been revamped with new enemy mechanics and new weapon movesets, it stays true to the Soul Series' unique style of combat. The Soul Series combat has this depth to it that sets it aside from other games. It emphasizes learning how to deal with certain situations yourself rather than holding your hand through different boss encounters or areas the player is having difficulty with. 
At times when it seems the game is too hard or you may be a bit under leveled to deal with a certain area you were trying to progress through, you can use the bonfires to travel to different locations within the world and progress there and level up to better prepare yourself for the section of game you were having trouble with. Player vs. Player in Dark Souls 2 is much more fluid and the broken mechanics of Dark Souls 1 Player vs. Player have all been removed. Fights last longer than 20 seconds now and I was relieved to discover this when I gave Player vs. Player in Dark Souls 2 a shot. The implementation of dedicated servers have only made the player vs. player interactions more enjoyable for everyone. Overall, Dark Souls 2 is a beautiful game, only made better with the addition of better graphics, dedicated servers, improved gameplay mechanics, and increased difficulty that will keep the player coming back for more. This game was made for people who are looking for a challenge. Casual players beware. However, if you give this game a shot, I can 100% guarantee you it will not disappoint. I give the game a 10. So for NHSTV, I'm Austin Sisk, and until next time, keep calm and... I'll be sure to grab my armor and sword, as well as leave my lights on tonight. Until next week, Texans, have a good weekend. From the only news station that's all in, this has been NHS TV.